One of the most frequently asked questions about the Trisolarans is why they chose to reveal their weapon. Although in the books, the Planetary Intelligence Agency discovers the existence of Sophons from the recovered hard drive on Judgment Day, the showrunners likely wanted to emphasize that the Trisolarans have no reason to hide their presence. After all, you don't hide a bottle of bug spray from the bugs. That being said, in the first book, there's a key discussion in the Trisolaran Council about viability of the Sophon project, where the military faction raises some valid concerns. One of the most pressing questions is whether Earth scientists could eventually detect Sophons and then trap them. However, to detect Sophons, humans would need to make breakthroughs in understanding the deep structure of matter from which they are made of. But that's exactly what the Sophons have prevented. The only way to detect them would require breakthroughs in the very field that Sophons had sabotaged, creating an inescapable paradox. By sabotaging Earth's particle accelerators, they've blinded humanity's ability to explore fundamental physics. It's like a hunter who has already lost his sight. He can't aim for a target he can't see. Additionally, some in the council raised another possibility. What if humans spread particle accelerators across the solar system, preventing Sophons from interfering with all of them at once? However, the leaders of the Sophon program had a contingency for this as well, but to avoid spoilers, we'll skip over those details. In short, humanity is trapped. No access to deeper layers of reality. No fundamental breakthroughs, whether they're aware of the Sophons or not. At least that's what the Trisolaran Council believes. Whether they'll succeed will be revealed in the next season. The argument can also be made that disclosing the Sophons would force humanity to focus most of its resources on trying to overcome them, diverting attention from realistic solutions that could actually stop the invasion. It was a calculated move to ensure humanity remained fixated on a futile task instead of uncovering alternative strategies. The revelation of the Sophons immediately shifted the focus of Earth's brightest minds. Scientists scrambled to understand the Sophons, even building massive particle accelerators in space in hopes of countering the interference, an effort the Trisolarans believed was futile. Whether their bet pays off or not doesn't change the logical rationale behind this purposeful disclosure. What the Trisolarans truly feared wasn't humanity outsmarting the Sophons, it was humanity discovering the truth behind the invasion. The Sophons served as the perfect distraction, ensuring humanity would waste precious time and energy on a problem that couldn't be solved without a heavy price, while the Trisolaran strategy continued unhindered. One argument against the three-body problem is that an advanced civilization like the Trisolarans would be able to easily eliminate human civilization without ever revealing their own existence. By allowing humanity to disappear rapidly due to an unexplained catastrophe, they could have avoided suspicion and the risk of a scorched earth response. Initially, the argument seems plausible. However, it overlooks a few crucial facts. The Trisolaran's existence had already been revealed by the listener, who was their equivalent of Ye, disillusioned with his own species. The moment he responded to Ye's message, Trisolaris's location was exposed to humanity. This was recognized as a grave mistake within their own society, which is why the listener was judged by the princeps. In accordance with the Dark Forest Principle, any civilization that knows the location of another is a potential threat, regardless of technological disparity. However, to avoid spoilers, we won't explain the rationale. Once humanity became aware of the Trisolarans, the aliens had to be extremely careful. Imagine two soldiers in a standoff. Soldier A is armed while Soldier B, who is unarmed, stands beside a red button that activates a nuke. Unlike Soldier A, he doesn't know what the button does, but if desperate enough, he might press it just to find out. Soldier A could try to neutralize the threat from a distance, but even if successful, Soldier B might still press the button, or even worse, scream for everyone to hear. In this scenario, the best strategy for Soldier A is to wait until close enough to block the button before taking any decisive action against the opponent. 
The button here symbolizes a doomsday scenario known only to the Trisolarans, who will go to any lengths to keep humanity from triggering it, or even worse, becoming aware of it. The real weapon in the three-body problem is not technology, but knowledge of cosmic sociology. This is exactly the predicament the Trisolarans are in. They can't afford to act too aggressively until they are close enough to ensure humanity can't do anything reckless. After all, you don't want anyone making noise inside the dark forest. As Ye said in the form of a joke, don't attract attention or God will arrive. And the Trisolarans are not the gods here. This is why they opt for a long-term strategy of control and suppression. Instead of using the Sophons to destroy us, they employ them to cripple scientific progress and prevent humanity from ever developing a means of resistance. By gradually neutralizing humanity's ability to fight back while infiltrating its society, Trisolaris ensures that when the final blow comes, it will be one-sided, silent and risk-free. But even if using the Sophons to induce cancer in every human by knocking DNA molecules out of alignment were a viable strategy, is it even possible? At first, it might seem plausible. However, the total length of DNA in a single human body is over 70 billion kilometers. For a single proton-sized particle to cause meaningful damage, it would take at minimum several days per person, if not months, far too slow to have any impact. Since the Sophons are so small, they would have to zip around inside each human body trillions of times just to cover even half of its volume. Weaponizing the Sophons in this way isn't just too risky, it's simply not feasible. Their ability to influence larger particles is extremely limited. In order to interact with larger objects, such as disrupting biological functions, they need to unfold a state in which they are highly vulnerable. The Trisolarans, who had invested enormous resources into creating just four Sophons, could not afford to lose them. This is why, once the Planetary Intelligence Agency became aware of the Sophons, phenomena like the blinking stars, the countdowns and other interferences ceased. After this turning point, the Sophons were repurposed entirely for their primary and most effective function. Omnipresent surveillance and blocking human scientific progress. Their computational power was best used to disrupt particle accelerators and prevent breakthroughs in fundamental physics, ensuring that humanity would never develop technology capable of countering invasion. Their true power lay in reshaping the very fabric of human civilization by dooming its scientific progress from within.